Greetings friends. In this episode of uh, Snippets from Shri Guru Gita, I have chosen this particular verse. And in this verse, the Lord tells Devi Parvati, Sarva Papa Vishuddhatma Shri Guru Pada Sevana Dehi Brahma Bhavedyasmat Tvatkripartham Vadamite Out of compassion for you, I shall tell you how the embodied soul becomes Brahma. Having been purified of all sins by serving the feet of the Guru. The key point here is serving the feet of the Guru. To purify oneself of all the sheets of wrong understanding and to find the Absolute in this very body. So serving the feet of the Guru, we always offer our reverence to the elders in India by touching their feet. But the outer action is symbolic. It is symbolic of a state of mind, a state of surrender, a state where we honor and revere a higher principle, higher wisdom and higher knowledge. Isn't it true that whatever noble we have received in this life has come through people and once we acknowledge their role in our lives, we become full of gratitude. We approach them with a lot of reverence. So the indication about, is about that attitude of surrender and reverence to a higher principle. And it has an aspect of acknowledgement to it. The acknowledgement is that I do not know. I am not, I know something, but that something I am not attached to. I look forward to having something greater and higher. It's about being open. It's about being filled with an attitude of learning, a surrender to a higher principle. And once we do that, then greater opportunities beckon, higher possibilities open, and it is, becomes much easier to accept them and to work with them. Otherwise, our own limited understanding or knowledge becomes a roadblock. We get so much attached to our belief systems or whatever little we know that we find it difficult to sail into the open skies, to touch infinite limits. There is a story a Zen story that a would-be aspirant went to the Guru and he said, Oh, I am in such great hurry, I am a very busy person. Can you give me some knowledge? Can you tell me something that I can take home? And the Guru smiled and he said, Well, wait for a while, let us have a cup of tea. And the Guru asked for tea to be brought. He took the teapot and started pouring tea into the teacup. Soon the cup was full 
and tea started spilling over onto the plate and then the plate was full and the tea started spilling over onto the table and from there onto the floor. And the Guru wouldn't stop. He went on pouring and very soon this fellow who had gone there to receive some snippets of wisdom, he was enraged and he said, what kind of a master you are? You don't even know how to pour tea into the teacup. And the Guru remained unperturbed. He put the pot down, smiled and said, Son, I am showing you the state of your mind. You are too full of yourself. And there is nothing you can receive. Whatever I have to Go, give you will be spilling over and out. So go and search, contemplate and that will bring some humility, that will give you a realization that you do not know. And when you understand that you come to me and sit here. You may not have to ask and I may not have to give. Something will happen inside you. You will know. So, when the Lord says, Sarva Papa Vishuddhatma Shri Guru Pada Sevana Dehi Brahma Bhavedyasma he is pointing to an attitude of surrender, of gratitude, of willingness to learn, of willingness to let go of the limited knowledge one has lived with through many, many lifetimes. No wonder Lord Buddha told his disciples, Bhikkhu, empty thy boat. So touching the feet of the Master is about emptying one's boat completely so that the Master himself can descend into that. And that is how an embodied soul is going to taste the experience of the Absolute. Dehi Brahma Bhavedyasmat Tvatkripartham Vadamite. So much for today. May the blessings of the Guru Principle be with everyone. 